stop K-pop. Here we go. Yeah, one, two, stop K-pop. Bring it on. As you all know, the K-wave and K-pop are hitting all the corners of the world. Yeah. And so on this segment, we're going to be talking to Korea Files and hear what they have to say about K-pop and how the K-wave is thriving in their neck of the woods. Yes. Just how they got started listening to K-pop music. Hmm. Today, we have a very special guest who's going to be joining us. He hmm. is K-music CEO and founder, Jay Tan. We're told that he has been doing a lot lot when it comes to music and trying to get it out there for the people. Yes, he's inspired many a people. He's a very young man. He started at an early age of 18 doing other things like graphic design. And now he is not only successful in that field of work, but he is also doing great with his K-Music website. So, so curious. We're told he is ready to say hello. Let's pick up the phone. Hello. hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Welcome to K-Popular. <laughs> Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, my name is Jay Tan. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. So I'm, as you guys said, I'm the CEO and founder of Officially K-Music. Mm -hmm. So that's basically an online entertainment source for all fans. And as well as I'm a graphic designer um, that, I, that I own a studio here in Melbourne, Australia. I, I've been, you know, a massive K-pop fan for about two years now and I listen to K-pop pretty much every day, so a huge K-pop fan here. You're still a newbie, two years. Only, yeah. yeah. yeah only. <laughs> so, so how long has your uh, officially K-music site been around then? Uh, for about a year. Only for uh, about a year? So, yeah, we've only been up for a year, but to get um, over almost 700,000 <gasps> likes on Facebook is just phenomenal. That's wow. amazing. And what do you think is the uh, reason behind that success? Because there are so many K-pop sites mm -hmm. out there that have been built, um, ones that have been around for even longer than that, and yet some of them don't get the love that your site is receiving. I guess uh, with, with our success, it's just the, the engagement that we have with our, with our fans. I mean, mm -hmm. social media is all about interaction and, and not about, you know, you post something up and... Um, you let fans like it. We we also interact with our fans where when they comment, we reply, reply. back to them. We like their comments. So we really engage with our fans and really appreciate um, what they do. On so how many site. hours a day do you put into this um, site? Uh, well, there, there is about 180 people that wow. um, run K-Music. So there is quite a lot of people that spend hours and hours and 24-7. But for myself, I manage it during the night. So mm -hmm. from... 9 p.m. to like 3 a.m. in the morning, so so quite late. Well, you know what? You're young, and you can still do it, so continue while you can, because in the next few years, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be like, I got to sleep at 12. My head aches. My back <laughs> aches. <laughs> uh, well, this is the most important part then. Mm -hmm. You started this site because you fell in love with K-pop. What is it about K-pop that you fell in love with? Mm -hmm. I just love how, you know, K-pop... Um, it's it's pretty much like a language. It's like people are able to talk with one another. And, mm. um, you know, at high school, I wasn't, you know, the most popular kid. So I wasn't really the best student there. But, uh, you know, I found like-minded people through K-pop. And to be able to talk with them, to be able to uh, engage with them, talk about styles, talk about music videos, this and that, um, it's just really... Um, connects me to K-pop a lot more and a lot more people as well. And I love what you're saying right now because pretty much what you're saying is that K-pop is not just about music. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's, it's a community. That, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you though, Jay, yeah. what is your nationality or ethnicity, I my should say? Yeah, my nationality is uh, Filipino Chinese. Ooh. Okay. So do you listen to yeah. Filipino or Chinese music at all? They've got great music too. Yeah, I actually listen to a lot of Chinese music, mm -hmm. um, although I kind of understand what they're saying, but not fully. Um, but yeah, I, I just really love um, listening to Wang Li Hong, one of my uh, favorite artists. Wang Li Hong, uh -huh. very talented yeah, artist. Very, very, very. And um, in the Filipino culture, not so much, just here and there. Um, but well, I do understand 100. percent What is it about? What is it about K-pop that made you become such an advocate for it, as opposed to, let's say, Chinese music, or Filipino, or music. Filipino music, or even pop music? I guess the um, the community is much more global. Um, I mm -hmm. mean, for 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 people that are my age and um, that I could relate to. So most of my friends here are K-pop fans. So it's 
easy to relate straight away, like with um, different groups like Four Minute, mm-hmm. TVXQ, Girls Generation. So we we all connect much more easy compared to Chinese or Filipino music. So then, do you also speak Korean? I'm assuming you kind of try to study uh, <laughs> uh, a little bit here little and there, bit. but I mean, I mean, I don't understand what they're saying fully mm. in um, songs. But I'm a musician, so. I um oh. I really love music. Yeah, universal language music it is. Seriously. Well, yes, we definitely right. want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. We had a lot of fun. It was very inspiring. <laughs> 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 and uh, you did mention that you're from Melbourne. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there, and I know we have a lot of listeners also who are from Australia, yeah. and they've they've kind of told us there are a couple of Korean CD stores where you can get access. Uh, how do you get access to all your information and all your music for K-pop? Uh, so I, I basically uh, go on, you know, my my website. It's always updated with with content, mm-hmm. as well as um, through iTunes. Uh, I purchase my music, not not download them. Yay! Download, but um, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I support artists, and I'm always like giving back um, by paying for albums and paying for the songs so that they could produce more songs so Gee, yeah you're incredible we need more fans like you out there <laughs> <laughs> yes yes try not to download download yes. um just just try to get them from official sources exactly um, yes yeah, so support artists oh uh, well again wow. thank you so much for doing all that you do for k-pop and we're told that you want to give a yeah. shout out today to some of your friends yeah. and uh, co-workers yes yes i just wanted to um it, I want to give a shout out to uh my managers from officially k music so that's cammy Lollipop, Lucy, Eva, Katie, Jenny, Alona, Joyce, Stuart, Rosie Annie, and Mira. Um, and also my family and friends um, for supporting me in K-pop. Mm. And, um, and for every K-pop fan that's just listening right now, thank you for you, for you guys um, uh, for supporting K-pop in general. It's because you've got such great passion that people see that and they just want to work even harder. And that's why you've got a great staff with you. So that's you're, correct. I yeah. mean, you, you try to turn your passion. You try to turn your passion into something mm-hmm. that you work. Like, if you turn your passion into a business, then yeah. that's success. Like, I mean, you don't see it as work, but you just love what you do. Exactly. Oh. Well, we wish officially K yeah. Music more love and more success in the <laughs> new year. And we want to thank you so much for being part of the show. We are going to sign off with a request song. What would you like to listen to? Uh, I'd like to listen to this uh, by Hyun Sung. There's this song on his Troublemaker album. It's, it's hard to pronounce this in Korean, but um, it's um, Hamu Ro Ji Ani. Oh, very good. <laughs> All right, that, we'll get that, that out for you. It's yeah. pretty good. It's Hamu Ro Ji Ani. Okay, okay, I'll practice on that. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jay, for the interview. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Wow. To me, it still love. blows me away how there's so many people who just kind of fall in love with K-pop mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they become advocates and they start making these websites and they I start mean, posting all this information. We won't be able to do that kind of stuff. Even though we love food, I don't, <laughs> I can't do anything with, you know, my, myself and type and blog about that. Like, it's just crazy. I mean, this is not something to brag about, but I feel like, um, even as K-pop DJs, I mm-hmm. think that Jay probably knows more about what's going on in the K-pop industry than we do. Say you. <laughs> I keep up. Oh, dude, he knows everything. Though. I do too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's your request. We hope you enjoy it. It's Troublemaker with Amrachi Anni. No, 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 I'm 